The sounds of sirens ring throughout San Francisco's Tenderloin District, ground zero in the city's battle against the fentanyl crisis. I mean, it's a hard drug to beat. It's fentanyl, it's crazy. From fentanyl to meth, trank, and more, the drug supply becoming increasingly unpredictable. Michael says he sells and uses. So most people who are buying, what are they looking for? What? They're looking for like, you know, like, you know, for like you. And he says it's cheap and easy to get. And they might want something for five bucks, only got five dollars on them. How much do you get for five dollars? Well, you know, a nice amount. This, as San Francisco is on pace for its deadliest year yet amid the drug overdose crisis. The chief medical examiner has recorded 692 accidental overdose deaths so far this year, the majority caused by fentanyl. And to combat crisis, the city set aside nearly $600 million for behavioral health services in the past fiscal year. Money going towards everything from more treatment beds to the street crisis team. The city's also working to get life-saving naloxone spray or Narcan into more hands, doling out more than 70,000 doses so far this year. Hey, we're going to give you some Narcan. Hello, hello, hello. And just a block away from City Hall, a sheriff's deputy reverses an overdose. Can I give you this? And back in the Tenderloin, another life is saved. It's exactly why a group of activists set up this pop-up safe consumption site earlier this year. What we're doing today is that we're showing how simple it can be to save lives. We're not putting anyone at risk, including ourselves. Richard's fighting addiction to fentanyl and says having a place to go to use is a relief. It'd be really nice if this place would pop, pop, pop back up again, but I don't know what does it take. The city's been hesitant to greenlight safe consumption sites, citing legal concerns. But the mayor has signaled support for the New York model, where a local nonprofit is funding and operating three sites. That other communities have and as local leaders look to New York City for solutions, Los Angeles is turning its eyes to San Francisco. One of the things I appreciate about what San Francisco is doing in recent months is that shift to focusing on especially the folks that are manufacturing and distributing this uh, poison. San Francisco is now more than six months into a multi-agency effort to shutter the open-air drug market. Part of what we're getting from the governor is some help, some support, resources. Governor Gavin Newsom sending in California Highway Patrol and National Guard to support police. But some say the city's gone too far, from arresting drug users to the mayor's proposal to drug test welfare recipients. That destroyed Moves the mayor defended in a recent interview with Martha Raddatz. No, it's not always the popular thing to do, and this is not about right or left. This is about do we want to save lives? And back on the streets, a stark reminder of the struggle to get sober. Some may test clean, some may test dirty. For myself, I give you an answer because I go days and I don't. I go days and I don't, honestly. And on one of those days when Denise did use, it was her last. I found out just weeks after speaking with her, she died of a fentanyl overdose in this very spot. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.